Sure. If you turn that on, you lose the challenge. You lose the challenge to electricity. No. At this point, I don't care about the challenge. Is this worth losing a stupid challenge? Is it, is it worth losing our friendship? That's right. I've done a lot worse and you've still stayed, so I'm taking the chance right now. Yeah! Okay, it's time for... <laughs> Christ. All right, guys, welcome to another challenge. You know what we've been doing? We've been buying a lot of stuff lately. It's time to turn the table. Right? No, no. Is there any like value to the family in this table? Yeah, I was born on this table. Oh, oh, what the? But today we are doing a challenge that is something very hard for me and Jazz. Well, besides our big dicks. <laughs> but today we are doing the try not to use electronics challenge. This is gonna be very hard. Well, pretty hard for me because I'm always on social media. Jasper never posts on Instagram stories. Yeah, or Instagram. I do. What was that the thing you posted the other day? You're like in a gray truck. Oh, uh, yeah. And you're like this in the media. Uh, like, <laughs> the f is that? Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see. We're in the 21st century. When you're in the 21st century, like, everything is electronic. You know, wake up, you make your coffee into electronic something. Your fridge is electronic. Your phone is electronic. Your vibrating giant dildo you shove in your ass. Me and Jazz Paul cannot use electronics, and the first person to do so will lose. That's rule number one. No electronics. First person to use anything electronics besides, of course, which is gonna bring us on into rule number. I should, probably shouldn't get too close to you because I'm super sick, but you're also <laughs> sick. <laughs> We're just sick buddies. We're just sick. Take us on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Sick, sick buddies. <laughs> electronics we can use are these lights and the camera because we need to make the video of course guys it's not like we're just gonna be like all right no electronics and rule number three is the loser whoever uses an electronic first has to post something very embarrassing on their instagram and the other guy gets to decide so if you guys want to see that be sure to go and follow our instagrams you might spoil the video if you go check right now but you know just do it anyway because i'm almost at 100,000 followers we're gonna be staying in the same house all day, so of course, no cheating on my part, as usual. Jazz Paul's been, tricks have been up his sleeve for quite a while. It's not tricks. It's just- Oh, God! Man, you're not supposed to show that to anybody. You did that right now. You're fine anybody right now. You're making me feel bad. I don't appreciate you to do something like that because it makes me feel really uncomfortable about other people. Yeah, so let's get started. I think um, you forgot to mention. A million thousand trillion lights! Is clicking the like button using an electronic? Oh, it is. Not if you kick it. If you kick it, yeah. it's... With your shoe, which means your body did not touch, touch it. And we are not liable for any broken phones, tablets, or computers, guys. Just a little... A I'm one. not. He... Uh, no. If anybody's gonna be liable, it's gonna be this rich motherfucker over here. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe and join the freaking D Squad so you will know every time we post one of these dope challenges and you can see who wins and see all the crazy stuff. I'm just gonna go like this every time. Now and just pick one of these ones. I got the knees growing me, mother. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's start this challenge. Let's go to it's early. No electronics, no using anything electronic. Let's start this challenge. We're talking to all the girls you've been talking to, Jasper. I don't talk to any girls. What about that one girl? What are you talking about? You have a text from her right now that you can't check, so uh, really? have fun with that. <laughs> Alright, let's start. What's up guys, it's welcome back to my channel. I mean, is this what we're resorting to already? You're pretending like you have a YouTube channel? The point of this whole like little vlog thing right now is that um, I just want to let you guys know I am very, very excited to do this challenge. Derek lives on his Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, social media. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. That's how bored he is right now. He's resorting to doing something that should not be yeah, done I'll on I'll, I'll, I'll this. Do like, I'll do it like this. Oh! <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm really excited to do this challenge because I know Derek can't really do- He can't handle this. Me, I, I like to go on Instagram sometimes. I do like to watch YouTube videos as well. But the more important- like the, What's gonna be really, really hard for me is actually like not being able to watch Super Bowl because the new episode coming on tonight. Hey, hey, I don't live on- I have a life. I don't live on Instagram. I know, but he's like a social media personality. I'm more like the tag-along friend that everyone just seems to adore and like because they feel bad that his other friend is just being cruel and mean and aggressive and just- Disrespectful to him. AKA your fake as fuck. Yeah, I know. I'm just happy because Derek cannot cheat in this challenge. It's impossible. Because usually how he cheats is he goes on his Instagram, does something with a story, tells people to do this, and boom. Somehow he always ends up winning. But this time he can't use his Instagram because then he would automatically okay. lose. I never I one I don't cheat. There's no cheating. Sorry, he doesn't cheat. He strategically Thank cheats. you. Thank you. But what do you mean I can't post on Instagram? I can still post on Instagram. How can you post on Instagram? You can't use electronic. I have my ways, Jasper. I have my ways. Never tell. I hate these stupid phones. 
I don't even know if this thing is on. Hey D Squad, it's Derek's mom here. He has given me access to his Instagram account because he's doing a challenge with Jazz Paul where he's not allowed to use his phone. So he has given me some messages to share with you all. So I have a note here from Derek and Derek said that he does not plan on cheating and instead he's going to use an intellectual brain but he spelt intellectual incorrectly and he's delusional he thinks he can win this how can he win this okay i know i'm not the smartest person in the world, whole world i but know exactly i'm gonna win this challenge right? Stop! what what are you doing it's all electronic it's all electronic i can, Derek, I swear to God, I can touch it all i want I can I, i'm just touching her dude 2018? Whoa! What's up? Whoa! It's been like 30 minutes and I'm already so freaking bored. Jazz Paul, do you have anything fun to do? I'm just reading up on my uh, marketing right now. You're reading? Yeah. What are you reading? Huh? What are you reading? Prepare your marketing. Can I see what you're. No. <laughs> what are you about? Open up to the page. Let's see what you're reading, Jazz Paul. What? How is that? What's contemporary in marketing oh, about that? What is this? How is this here. Jazz, well, it's on the wrong I gave that to you. Oh, no. man, I got on June now. What is gave this? That April. To you. Oh, April's almost here. What's this? Oh, dear Paul. Oh. That's my bro. What the hell? <laughs> Jazz, well, I gave that to you for Christmas as a joke. I'm trying to find out what the date is, okay? You know, okay, fine. You know what? Here, find out what the date is and... I'll give you some help, Jazz Paul. Don't, don't be too loud like last time, okay? You woke up the neighbors. Oh, I did it! Just in the other room right now, and I know Jazz Paul thinks that there's no way I can cheat. And but oh, sorry, let me rephrase that. I know there's no way Jazz Paul thinks I can use my phone to strategize, but I kind of prepared just a little bit for this video. I have to be kind of quiet. Wait, oh god, that's not electronic, right? This isn't, that's not electronic, that's, that's not, that's just rope. I had the idea to film this video actually a couple days ago, and Jazz Paul, even though he doesn't want to admit it, has been talking to a girl recently that we both know. What I had to do, first off, being the nice guy that he is, anybody who texts him or calls him, he'll always answer and always reply because he feels bad leaving them hanging. So what I did, it took some convincing, and by convincing, I mean PayPaling this girl a hundred dollars. Better be freaking worth it, Becky. <laughs> I'm just kidding, her name's not Becky. I told her to call Jazz Paul at exactly 11.30 and to not stop calling him until he answered. Just keep calling and calling and calling. Oh, wait. I, I, don't, I don't have a watch. I need to check the time on like a normal clock because I can't check my phone. Do people have normal clocks anymore? I need to check when it's 11.30 so I can bring out the freaking camera. I'll find that in a bit, but I told her to just keep calling him and she doesn't know that he can't answer his phone, so she's gonna keep calling him until she can't freaking call him anymore. Knowing Jazz Paul, hopefully this will push him over the edge and he will answer it and this video can be cut short. We can go home and we can eat some freaking food that's microwaved or something because the only thing I can think about eating right now is like chips. We can't heat up any food or open the fridge. Guys, do you realize that? What the hell am I gonna eat? A frozen steak? No, I'm a vegetarian too, so I can't even do that. Our mission right now is to find a clock. Let me just close the blinds. Is anybody else like become stupid? What do you? I can't close. Okay, guys, leave it in the comment section. Does this? Is anybody else? How do you freaking this way? There. Oh, there we go. Okay, there. Sorry, I'm just stupid. Damn it! No, this clock doesn't work anymore. This stupid thing cut me off. And to continue, it says he's going to win the fair way, ha ha ha, the way that he always does. Derek also wanted me to tell you that Jazz Paul sucks and that he's going to lose. However, I don't believe that because Jazz Paul is the son that I never had. Go Jazz Paul. Who's that? Oh. Sheila with heart eyes? Whatever. Is that her? Don't care that Bay is calling and you're not gonna answer? Just call her back. You can't fine. answer it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. okay. You can't answer it. You're not gonna lose the challenge. Who the hell? Who's Sheila? Friend. Just a friend? Yeah. She clearly needs to get in contact with you, buddy. You don't care? You're just gonna finesse the girl and you don't care? It's not that. I, I, I can't lose this right is now. Is she leaving voicemails? It's probably nothing, you know? I think she's gonna call again. I don't think she's gonna call again. Don't worry. She probably will. If it's. If You know something serious when someone's leaving you a voicemail. If you don't care, don't answer. We'll move on. I do care! I do, I do care! I just can't lose this challenge. If you call her Jazz Ball. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get, get college from the other room. Oh, God, you know. 
So Jasper has about 40 missed calls at this point, but she has stopped calling for some reason. I don't know why she stopped calling. It's not like somebody. That's why I'm sitting eating chips all day, okay? Or well, maybe you should start cooking something. Go cook, like heck. You know what electronics? No electronics at all. Well, you know what? The burner. That's tick tick. That's electronic. We'll go make a fire outside then. It's pouring rain, Jasper. So? Oh wait, never mind. Do you know how fire works? I mean, I love Miss Vicky's chips just as much as the next guy, but I want something warm, and we can't cook anything or warm anything up. So somebody has to go and buy food. And the thing is, we can't drive. It's impossible to turn on your car without turning on the radio, and the radio is electronic. So we have to decide somehow. Now, who is gonna go get food? Because I don't want both of us to go because I want to stay in the freaking house because it's warm. I don't want to go outside, it's pouring rain and walk with Jazz Paul. But I wanna I wanna stay inside too. You can go. No, we have to decide like men, like some sort of competition, but it can't involve anything like Trump. So no FIFA, no video games, no like random number generator to see who wins. I don't think you have any dice lying around. Alright, fine. We'll settle it how our great 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 grandfather used to do it. Rock, paper, scissors, let's go. No. Like men. Fight like men. You know? You're gonna set, you're, look at the rain. You're gonna go in that, not me. Strike first. Let me strike first. One, two, three. You think that was big? Did you know you know you're messing with? You know what I had for lunch last night? What? And breakfast? What? 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 Beans! So let me just get over it. Uh, uh, the chariot awaits. Oh, oh wait, no it doesn't because you have to walk. <laughs> Dude, what the hell, man? You could use it as a bomb, as a weapon. Oh, I have before. Do I have an ash? Oh my it. god! Alright, so I would tell you to take the camera, but because it's pouring rain, I don't want to ruin it. And this is the only electronic we can use today, so I think I should keep it. So you're gonna get to go get us food. You know what to get, right? I know what to get. Calm down, right? Okay, well, go have fun. Hey. How long How long are you gonna be? It's pouring rain. <laughs> I don't even have an umbrella. <laughs> Umbrellas are electronic, Jasper. You can't use it. It doesn't make any sense at all! Neither does this video, but we're still doing it anyway, okay? I'll see you in a bit. I got some time to kill because Jazz Paul's gone, and I'm actually not gonna cheat and use electronics. I'm just gonna chill here, maybe take a nap or something, and I'll see you guys when Jazz Paul is back with our food because I am starving. Hey, D Squad, while I have Derek's uh, Instagram access, here's a picture of Derek kissing his sister when he was very little, and we have another one of Derek uh, eating ice cream, and here's him and uh, it's been a while. Um, Jazz Paul is still not back. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm getting kind of worried, but he's a big boy. He can walk back by himself with the food. So I thought, why not do a little bit of like drawing? This is the only piece of paper I could find in the entirety of Jazz Paul's house. The funny thing about being like an adult in this industry and this age is that you never really get to write stuff on paper. But when I was in grade five, I remember my teacher forced us to only write in handwriting. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to do it right now like I used to, but it's kind of like a signature type God, Derek. Where's your wallet? Where's my wallet? Where's your wallet? Where's the food? What do you mean? Where's your wallet? Wallet's right here. Hey, can you give it to me, please? What do you mean? Where's the freaking food? You were gone for like 30 minutes. Well, I got there and I realized I have no cash on me. Wait, do you have any cash on you? Oh, God, yeah, you don't know how to work a wallet. No, I don't. I'm sorry. That's a weird ass wallet. I only have a hundred dollar bill. That's what I have to do. What do you mean? I can't use my credit card. I need a credit card or debit card. Why can't you? Because electronic. <laughs> And I had no cash on me, so I had to walk all the way back and grab this. <laughs> Why if they don't accept hundreds, Jasper? Well, they better motherfucker accept it. <laughs> I kind of knew that was going to happen because Jasper never carries cash on him, and I was hoping he would use his credit card and lose the competition. But I'm going to write some stuff out in handwriting while Jasper walks through the rain. We will see you guys when the food is back. <laughs> Oh, he's back. I am so freaking starving, Jasper. I literally dusted off that entire bag of chips. I was trying to write in handwriting while you were gone, but you write? the only thing I could write in handwriting was um, follow at Jazz295 or die, but I, it's not in- It's not bad. <laughs> you want to eat tonight, what? We got some chicken noodle soup. Chicken with rice soup, actually. Both chicken and rice soup from Safeway. Not sponsored, but please do sponsor us. Um, yeah. 
What? Is the real food outside? Uh, the real food's outside, right? I forgot you're a vegetarian. That's not why this is the dumbest thing. You're, this is a f***ing joke, Jazz Ball. Why? We're, we're both the sick real food, right The now. real food's outside, right? Oh. We're getting, you wanna eat some cold food? We're both sick right now. We can't eat it up! Oh. We can't use electronics! What do you wanna heat it up? Let me put this between my freaking thighs and just rub it like, no! We do have one job! I knew I should've freaking went and got the food myself. I should've went and gotten it myself. I was thinking of both of us, and I thought we were both sick and we were both used to You went to Safeway, right? Yeah. They have a hot soup section where you can pour the soup yourself! Well, I didn't think of that. I don't get soup like that usually. I usually cook it up. You know what? You're gonna go and cook that up for us and lose the challenge right now. No! That's only fair! What else are we gonna eat? Granola bars for the next 12 hours till somebody loses? They are pretty healthy. We have really healthy granola bars. I can't even eat this! It's chicken! Let alone cold soup! Wait, this, um, it says you can microwave it. Oh my god! It makes me feel bad. You should! Why? Because where's the change? It's a thought that counts. Where's the change? What do you mean? There's These are $1.50 each, Jasmine. I'll give you 100 I don't know what happened to it. Give me the camera. I'm sorry. I'm doing mine upstairs. You're gonna stay downstairs. Hey. I can't do this, Jasmine. Hey. Cold soup! I didn't, I forgot. We couldn't heat it up. Oh, you're in for it now, Jasmine. You see this? You see how I'm standing up here and you're down there? Yeah. This is a metaphor for our life. I will always be on top. You will always be on the bottom. Taking this day. You guys may think that I'm being mean to Jazz Paul, but you don't understand that I spend every single day with this guy. Like, I understand. I probably shouldn't call him stupid. That's kind of mean, but he gets chicken. I, did, I forgot we couldn't heat it up. Chicken noodle soup that we have to heat up when he knows we can't heat it up. Let that say. How do you think I. I waited for an hour for him to go to the store, come back, realize he doesn't have any freaking cash, and then all I wanted was some nice food. He's my best friend, you know? He's like a brother to me, but like, he's like a, that younger brother that sometimes just annoys the absolute brain out of your. Frickin my brain is splattered against the wall basically at this point from all the stuff Jazz Paul has done Alright you guys, you know what? I'm really sorry. I, it was an honest mistake I know Derek's a little bit upset right now, but I mean I feel awful. I really do. For me to win this challenge I have to stay focused, you know? Derek and I have an equal chance in this and I feel like if I just continue doing the stuff that I'm gonna be doing Stay positive, not fall under his tricks. I should be able to win this challenge, you know? I will take it though. I messed up on this one I should have brought some better food. Right now, I mean, I'm just I'm just chilling The only thing I, I wish I could do is watch some Supergirl But anyways, I know Derek has a thing planned under Steve, and you know, I know he thinks I'm really, really stupid, but you, you, you guys will see later on why I'm not stupid, why I will outsmart Derek in this round. It's been a couple hours since we started the challenge. I don't really, it's, it's so weird not having electronics because I'm so used to my daily life. My daily life is on my phone. My phone has been in my pocket and I felt it going off and I can't even take it out of my pocket and look at it. I have to go to the bathroom, so I guess that's something non-electronic I can do, but that's not something very fun. Jasper always seems to be looking at his freaking dream guy's calendar, so maybe I can do that. I would try to look through it, but for some reason, all the pages are stuck together. So I don't think that's something I want to do right now. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And here's our beautiful Peggy Sue, the cat that Derek is always seeing as a pain in the butt. Huh? She's not a pain in the butt. Look how pretty she is. Sleeping on the bed. Oh my freaking go Jazz ball! Are you freaking kidding me? What are you, are you sleep? Jazz ball! Hey! You freaking ja what? what the hell is that in the toilet? What? Oh my god, come freaking take a look. Look at this! What? Oh my- Was <laughs> that you? I mean, yeah. Why don't you freaking flush your shit down the toilet? That because it's using electronic, I can't use that. What is electronic about the toilet? I can't use that, it's, a it's water. Water causes electricity, I'm sorry. Jasper, well, there's nothing electronic but flush your freaking- Flush your poop down the no, toilet. No, I'm not- you, If you wanna do it, you can do it. I'm not gonna do I'm it. not flushing your- That's yours! I don't- I'm not gonna lose a challenge. Is it electronic? Water conducts electricity. Means that I'm gonna be causing electricity going through that toilet. Flush your sh down the toilet. I have to take- I'm not pooping in your poop, that's so weird! You know what, Derek? I'm sorry. We've done worse things together, so you might as well just do that too. We're just gonna ride off this bathroom as nobody can ever use it again. So you're disgusting. Something some of you may know about me is I love coffee every single day and I usually make it at home using a Keurig machine. But right now, one, I'm at Jazz Ball's house, he has the machine, but I can't use this because it's freaking electronic. So, I'm about to go with the most ghetto coffee style ever and I'm just gonna try and make coffee using nothing electronic and see how it tastes. I think Jazz Ball might want one, but I don't think he's a big coffee drinker. Supergirl. Jazz. What's up, Supergirl? Dude, why should man have to help her? There's nothing on the TV. What are you doing? 
Oh, I'm just like reimagining the episodes. There's nothing on the TV, Jazz Paul. I know, I memorized the episode. I know you feel guilty, don't worry about it. It's okay. You can feel guilty. The last of your kind. Supergirl's last of her kind. Okay, yeah, buddy. Hey, um, you can't be doing this is weird, Jazz Paul. You can't be sitting there imagining the episodes where there's nothing on the TV. That's oh, just nothing else we can do right now. Well, don't, don't do anything but that. It's not fine. Thank you. It, it is a little bit weird. Thank you. Oh my god. Let me let, let me fix this, alright? You're gonna fix this? Yeah. But you can't turn on the TV and start an episode. That's cheating, Jazz Paul. What are you what are you doing? If I can't watch it, I can reenact it. No, you don't need to. You don't need to. Just. Oh, hi there. What's your name? Where are you, Jazz? Okay, yours? that's enough, Jazz Paul. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're my dream wife. Let's get married and live happily ever after. Oh no, people need saving. I'll go save them right now. Hurry back to me, Supergirl. <laughs> No, it's the evil Derek! Oh my god, his powers are just being evil! We have to stop him! Let's use our super, super tap vision! Oh, it doesn't seem to work! Let's use tissue box! Oh no, he just seems to be like a little evil person that's- Derek, stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! Give me the- give me the- stop! Take it! Stop! 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 No, what are you talking about? The, I'm gonna turn on the burner and- Jake, you can't. If you turn that on, you lose the challenge. You lose the challenge to electricity. No. At this point, I don't care about the challenge. This is worth losing a stupid challenge. Is it, is it worth losing a friendship? That's right. I've done a lot worse and you've still stayed, so I'm taking the chance right now. Yeah! One last message, D-Squad. If you could please tell Derek to stop ordering stuff from UPS. Take a look at all these packages and we have to answer the door every single time one of these packages shows up and it's becoming a real pain. I didn't turn it on! Okay. Go away! Take the stupid camera off! It is now later on in the day, Jazz Paul's camped out upstairs with a Supergirl doll because for some reason he thinks I want to destroy it. Don't know why he would think- I'm, I'm a good friend who wouldn't do harm any- I bought it for him! Um, but as I was saying before, I need coffee and I can't brew any coffee or anything so I'm gonna do it ghetto style. So I'm gonna set the camera right here. You guys are familiar- <laughs> Uh, probably not a good idea for me to do this while I'm sick. There are these things for your Keurig that you put in and it'll steep hot water through it to make coffee. So I thought, why not just cut this open, mix it with some cold water, and it'll be like an iced coffee, right? That's how that works, right? Hopefully these drawers are not electronic. Being that we can't use electronics, this is how I'm gonna make the coffee. I'm gonna take this cup and open up this little coffee packet here with a knife and dump all of this into this cup. Oh God, that's a freaking oh geez, that's a lot of coffee ground. And now that I have this, I'm gonna mix this with with some water and the sink is not electronic guys I'm Jazz Paul I know that we thought the toilet was but that was just another edition of Jazz Paul's BS <laughs> some reason you guys really like that oh go okay that is probably the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my life and I've seen Jazz Paul with a shirt off so oh my god the top is like all frothy and it looks like freaking Pudding. But I gotta get my caffeine fix. <laughs> uh, my hand kind of looks like I just, um, you know, I'm not gonna say what it looks like. <laughs> if you guys are at home doing this challenge along with us, be sure to grab your, uh, looks like diarrhea coffee. Take a nice little sip with me at home. Slush at the top. Let's try, try and get some of the slush. <laughs> Doesn't taste that bad. Don't get the slush. It's not good. That's how you make a coffee with no electronics. Anybody's thinking about opening up a coffee shop? Be sure to plug in the electricity because that tasted like asshole. Alright, guys. So uh, a couple hours have gone by already, and we are literally doing nothing now. It's gotten so bad to the point where Derek's doing this. Hey, this isn't nothing. Go ahead, Derek. Explain what you're doing. You're just gonna make fun of me. Like you're I'm not. Just go ahead. Just explain to the. Hey, well, I always wanted to get in contact with Rosanna Pansino, and in the old days, you know, you'd write a love letter. We can't. I can't text her, so I've written her a letter. But it's private. I'm not gonna tell you. So you're writing a love letter to Rosanna Panini right now. Rosanna Pansino, Stop! My heart and soul have been dumped onto this paper. Okay, but what have you written so far then? Can you promise you're not gonna make fun of me? I won't. Wrote, Dear Rosanna Gerard, because obviously, I know you don't know who I am, but I long for your love. Like, I long for my follow-back from at Jazzzoo95. <laughs> I know, again, you don't know who I am, but I really just want to shove my- Okay, that's a bit much. No. No, I want to shove my rock-hard spatula into the oven so I can take out the cookies that I baked for her.
You know what? Instead of writing a love note to Rosanna Panini, why don't we write a thank you note to the D Squad? They've, they've been through so much with you and they've helped you out for a long, long time. And I, th I feel like we should just, you know, write a note for them to show how much we appreciate them. Okay, uh, uh, we have nothing better to do. Might as well, right? I'm gonna sign off this letter and send it and we can write some love letters to the D Squad. Okay, let's do it. I'll write mine, you write yours. So when I write mine, you're gonna read mine. When you write yours, I'm gonna read yours. Yeah, I guess it makes it a little bit more genuine. Like if someone else can read what you're saying. You guys, you guys gonna appreciate this, okay? I have a lot of built up love for you that I've unleashed all my hate on Jazz Paul over the years that all I have left is love. So what is this activity? Writing a letter to the D-Squad. We're gonna take a couple minutes to write a letter to the D-Squad, you guys, and then we're gonna read them out and uh, you guys get a little love in your life. No, you can't use spell check or anything. So let's start the time lapse right now of us writing you guys letters. So, who's gonna read who's first? I'll read yours first, and you read mine after. Let's do a little trade each. Trade trade. Read my love right. letter to the D Squad. To my huge, gigantic, heart and throbbing D Squad. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of support you've shown not only me, but also my friend Jasper has exceeded my wildest dream. Each and every one of you is so special, and I would be not. Wait, can you just like read? Like, perfectly that. There you go. All right. Each and every one of you is so special, and I would be nothing without you. Never forget that I love you with all my heart, and nothing will change that unless you unsubscribe. From Danny D. Aw, uh, isn't that just great? <laughs> no, 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 no. What the hell is that? <laughs> this is Jazz Paul's letter to the D Squad. I just want to take time to say how much I love you guys. You, oh, this is my letter from me. Put this in my perspective. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. You guys make my life so much better. Everything I ever do is for you guys. I know I make fun of Jazz. Jazz Paul a lot, but it's funny and you guys love it. That is very true. Jazz Paul deserves better. Oh, but, but there's a but. But because I am evil, and here are a few people who have helped me along the way. Hey, Sarah. Hey, John. Hey, Lisa. And hey, Jazz. Why is uh, Jazz? There's one more on the way. So the back. And hey, Siri. That is a nuts. Beautiful. He used electronics. Doesn't matter, you use electronics, stop using electronics, you said, hey, Siri. The line, it's coconut. Yeah. Yeah. You did not plan that. You did not plan that. Woo! How does it feel? How does it feel to lose, baby? How the hell, how did you, I didn't even think of any, how did you think of that? Easy, I Googled it. You, you yeah. Googled it. Oh shit. You Google? You Googled it? What did you no, Google it on? I, I, what did you, I, I, what did you Google it on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this that. guy cut, 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 cut? Have you Googled that. it? Oh. There was a Supergirl episode and I wanted to remember it, but I couldn't remember the actual episode that was similar to this. You have to say the name backwards of a bad guy, but he couldn't do it. Don't try and destroy. Did you use Google? <laughs> yes. Like 10 minutes ago. I knew it! Yes! That's all I'm gonna say. I win. You are so dumb. You just had the best but you googled it. I win the challenge. I get to post something on Jazz Ball. Dude, how the hell did you think of that? That is freaking crazy. Because I remember there's an episode on Supergirl. I kid you not. She had to make the bad guy say his name backwards. But she had to figure out a way to do it because he wouldn't say it. Because if he says his name backwards, he loses. He, he dies or something. So I googled the episode. I kind of did the episode. Why did you? You didn't have to tell me that. I know, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I win yet another challenge. The try not to use electronics goes to Derek. I'm going to be posting them on Adjust295 Instagram page. Be sure to go over and comment which emoji. Comment the computer emoji because Jazz Paul used Google when he shouldn't be, and I won. Okay, I had you, bro. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed the Try Not To Use Electronics Challenge. If you want to see us do a part two with more people, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. If you want to, be sure to subscribe so maybe one day you will get a love letter from us to the D Squad. We will see you all in the next video. Are you okay? I had you, bro. <laughs> I had you. I blew it. <laughs> That's the second thing you've blown today, you asshole. Oh my god. We'll see you on the next video. Fantastic. Always remember the motto of do good, die great. Let us know what try not to challenges we should do in the comment section down below. All right. We'll see you very soon. See ya. For me and Jazz Paul, the two happy campers just did another challenge. I almost lost. Oh, I got something to tell you. Wait, no, no, please. It's got, please. It's no. got You might want to get a new
chair? Because that one's definitely stained. <laughs>